welcome to Food Safety Together. I am Adil Aljouti and today I would like to talk about the refrigerator and how to keep our food safe in the fridge. There is a myth that bacteria cannot grow or survive uh, in the refrigerator and this is really wrong because some types of bacteria can grow and survive in the fridge and this bacteria is Listeria. Uh, it's really dangerous on pregnant ladies and their unborn babies. It might cause a uh, miscarriage. Uh, so it's really important to know how to maintain our fridge properly. Uh, the first point is how to arrange the fridge. Um, we cannot keep the food, all different food items next to, next to each other. We need to, to really separate them properly. The ready to eat food needs to be always on the upper shelf. When I say ready to eat food, it means the food we cooked and it's done, ready, treated, done. We need now to keep it in the refrigerator, packed, covered on the upper shelf. Also, it can be the food we purchased uh, or bought from outside, from the, uh, from the well-known uh, supplier or source, uh, ready to eat, such as cheese, uh, labne, um, it can be also yogurt, uh, all these stuff they're ready to eat, packed, produced and now we need to keep it also on upper shelves uh, or at least not to keep any raw items above to ensure that it's well protected from any source of contamination because imagine we're keeping a raw chicken on the upper shelf, all the juices, all the liquids the blood will leak on the surfaces and containers and the ready to eat food and this is really dangerous so ready to eat food always up and then the raw food raw chicken beef fish uh, turkey all this stuff raw we need to keep it always down on the lower shelf in a container properly covered to ensure that also there will be no any contamination to surfaces or to other food items um, even the fruits and vegetables, the unwashed one, we need to keep it in the proper containers. It's usually down, it's, it's uh, properly uh, closed. Uh, we need to keep it down uh, to ensure also there will be, any, uh, there will be no, any cross-contamination to the other food items. Uh, this is for the arrangement. Now, the second point is to keep everything packed and covered either in a container with cover or we can use also the clean fan the food grade one to ensure that it's also covered now we we place our food items in the fridge in a container covered now we need to remember what is the shelf life what is when when will be the expiry date for this item when i have to throw it away so we need always to remember the shelf life how can we remember this by using the label labeling system this system is always followed in the restaurants in the hotels and we always make sure to check these uh, these points while doing the audits or inspections so it will be very nice and good to make the system in our home labeling system is very easy we can use the labels stickers or the post-it from the office one or we can use any paper and stick it on the uh, container something can be of course like removed um, we need to keep the production date the date we cook the food and the expiry when this will be expired the rule is food items can be uh, stored or kept in the refrigerator for maximum two to three days Example, we cooked a rice uh, with, uh, with chicken, cooked, ready to eat, then we keep it in the fridge, covered, labeled for, for, uh, for the production and then the expiry will be after two to three days maximum. Example, the pack of uh, yogurt, it's still closed, unopened, then we will follow the, the, the same production and the expiry written on the pack itself which already was typed by the manufacturer it's okay but once we open it once we open the yogurt or the milk or the cheese or the labne or the daily food the cold cuts 
then we, we need to follow our own shift life, which is two to three days maximum. That's why we need to keep the label always in the food to make sure that there will be no any expired or unsafe item in the refrigerator. Um, we need to maintain a proper cleanliness, so we need to clean and uh, sanitize and then really keep it dry. Clean by a soap and hot water and then rinse it thoroughly by the hot water as well and then really wipe it. We need to make sure it's 100% dry so it will not be wet, so it will not enhance any growth of bacteria. How to, to, to wipe the surface of the refrigerator? By um, the uh, disposable paper cloth not the not a let's say uh, a towel because the towel uh, or the just the normal kitchen cloth it's most of the time or it might be uh, a source of bacteria already contaminated so it's better to use the disposable kitchen uh, paper one time and then that's it disposable we need to throw it uh, and the last thing we need to always check the temperature of the refrigerator uh, some fridge comes with uh, uh, let's say um, temperature gauge showing uh, what is the exact temperature of the re refrigerator right now this is good uh, and some without so we need we need to check really the temperature uh, we can use also the um, portable uh, thermometer it's uh, it's a specific for the refrigerator. We can hang it inside or keep it inside. It will always show the temperature inside the refrigerator. And this is the safest way to ensure that the temperature is within zero and five. We always need to remember this, zero to five. So if we're following all these points, we are really making sure that the food we're keeping in the fridge is safe and um, it will not cause any illness or harm to our health or to our kids health. Uh, and this is of course our aim. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and more topics will come soon. Uh, thank you. Bye.